Hello everybody, this is Ask Joshi. I'm here with world famous YouTuber and now team owner, Jesse Cox. How are you yeah. doing, Jesse? Hello, I'm, I'm great. Yeah, we're here yeah. at the uh, Mayhem Begins event at the YouTube space in LA, where I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll let you tell everyone about the event and what, what events just took place. Oh my goodness, so it is a big, big day for Heroes of the Storm, and we had some incredible matches. Look, the only one that matters mm. is the fact that Team Low Expectations came back and defended their crown as the first ever Heroes Champions. And they brought in some ringers this time and we somehow still beat them. I don't know how. It's, it's, there's something on our side. It's got, be it, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the lore for anything. Uh, all I can anything really think blizzard. of is you probably prayed to a shrine of murky, uh, made some sacrifices, right? <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, there actually. you go. Oh, yeah, there he is right there. I don't I'm trying to think of any lore characters. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm old. I forget everything. That's all right. Praise the light. Yes, the light. The light, that's a good Man, one. The light is everything. Yeah, the light's watching over low yeah. expectations. <laughs> uh, what, what, about, what about the shadow? The shadow. The oh. shadow. We, we prayed to the shadow because he's got nothing to do. True. Everyone's Illidan's, praying. Illidan's Everyone's, dead. Yeah. So what the hell does he have to work with? <laughs> All right. Well, low expectations came back. They did the job they were sent here to do. Yes. They put the uh, heroes of this heroes of the storm streamers in their place. And, uh, you know, that's not all that you've got going on, right? You're yeah. actually managing a professional Heroes of the Storm competitive team now. How's that going for you? Well, not necessarily managing. I just own them. Oh, okay. okay. So we have a manager and we have a team house and everything all set up. Uh, sponsors are on the way. I'm blown away that that's even happening. Uh, and we're just getting them involved in as many tournaments and scrims and all sorts of stuff as we can. And I'm really excited to see what happens. Uh, they're, they're all relatively... I guess like I'm not they're good players, but they're sort of like new to the whole we're gonna be on this awesome team and live together and do all this. So they're getting their feet wet. But give it time. We're coming. We're coming. Yep. I I saw Temple Storm over there. I'm coming for you, Temple Storm. <laughs> I'm coming for you. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but one day you'll wake up and be like, How did we become second? <laughs> and that team name is Hostella oh, Lotus. Yep, that's the one. Oh, sorry, Wait. I thought you mentioned it. No, no, neither of us actually said my, it's it. It's on my yeah. brain the entire totally, time. Totally, yeah. yeah. And you've got that tattoo above your ass, but... Uh, well, you mean my tramp stamp? <laughs> if that's it, what you want to call it, it I was... Is, it is a Stella Lotus symbol, and then some fireworks, and then two naked chicks with hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> We'll spare everyone at home. Uh, we're not going to show no. that off today. Nope. Uh, you, that, that's a privileged few that get to see that. But um, Only me and my bikini. Will you see that? Wink. <laughs> but you heard it here first. Jesse Cox and Stellar Lotus looking to take the Heroes competitive scene by Storm, LOL. Huh? Uh, the North American Road to BlizzCon is starting up next weekend. Are yes. you guys prepped and ready, ready to go for that? I mean, I hope so. I hope so. I'm really excited. I, I told my team I would be thrilled if in their first year as, you know, even a a real organization, right? All these other teams, uh, Temple Storm, Cloud9, all these guys have been around as an organization for a long time. So they have a history and they have all this foundation and money and backstory and infrastructure and all this stuff, and we don't. We're brand new. And I feel like if they could get on the BlizzCon stage, I'd be so happy. Like, that'd be the happy... I, they don't need to win. Mm -hmm. They don't need to do anything but just make it there. I'd be thrilled. I'd be more than happy. So if they could do that, that'd be the best moment ever. But, uh, you know, I, I hope they win. You know, I'm not going to say I hope they don't, but that's where I want them to be. Excellent. So high aspirations. That's great. BlizzCon always, is going to be a hell of a hell of a time, as it is every year. I'm sure oh, yeah. we can expect to see you guys there, win or lose, uh, just mm -hmm. to have a nice time with everybody and celebrate Heroes Esports. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'll ask what, uh, we'll take a step back and I'll ask what was your actual inspiration for, for creating a team of your own? Have you always wanted to get into esports? Was it Heroes specifically that kind of drew your mind to the idea? What, what, uh, walk uh, us through it. Really, it's selfish reasons. Okay. You want to, you want to be a millionaire. <laughs> I wish that, was, I wish that's how esports worked. Esports money. You get yeah. billions and billions. Get into it, kids. Yeah. Wink. Um, I love Heroes, and so I played it a ton in Alpha, and then I got invited to be on stage at BlizzCon, and my, my team, Low Expectations, won, and we were really excited, and we were very thrilled, and then we were like, we're really good, we're really good, what if we play in a tournament? 
We played in a tournament and got destroyed. Just pummeled. I think it was against Cloud9? I don't remember who we played. Wrecked. <laughs> and so I realized I'll never be good enough to turn, like, go to a tournament. It takes a lot of uh, willpower to admit oh, that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And so I was like, what if I created a team that I could live vicariously through and they did all the work and I just like bought them ramen every now and again. <laughs> and that's how we got to here. I wish I could say it was like, I want to give back to the community and I really, I've always loved esports. I like esports. I love, I go to Evo every year. I love watching the Twitch streams. But other than that, I've never been like a huge MOBA guy. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very salty. I'm a salty player. I have to, it takes every ounce of my strength not to yell at everyone. <laughs> so if you see the video from this event today, you'll notice I'm like, play calmly, fellows. We've got, I was... You're a, reeling it in. I was a few drinks in. I yep. was like, just, we're good, we're good, team. Just let it, it's okay. So, yeah, I'm usually the guy who's like, oh my god! Oh, F-bomb, F-bomb, F yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I know that you stream heroes a lot. What's your uh, Twitch link for, for the viewers? Oh, uh, twitch.tv slash shabuzi. Shabuzi. S-H-A-B-O-O-Z-E-Y. Yeah, you can't spell Jesse Cox without booze, apparently. Yep. <laughs> so now we know a little, about, a little bit about how the team was formed, your aspirations for the team. Uh, I know that you've actually got a convention coming up. I do. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Man, uh, yeah, I have a convention called CoxCon. It's in uh, England, and it is, again, I think my whole life is just a series of what started as inside jokes and then balloon into something crazy. And so uh, two years ago, I went to a convention in England. It was wonderful. It was really small, and I loved it. And so when they invited me back the next year, I heavily promoted it and really, really, really wanted people to come. But then that convention shut down and gave no refunds. So they, they stole all my fans' money, and I was really pissed. And so I was like, well, I'm going to be there anyway. I have a plane ticket. Um, let's have a party. And I called a CoxCon, and, we, and I paid for a giant space, and it was like a one-day event, and we all hung out and had a good time. And then... Um, they were like, you should do another. And so this year we're doing a legit real one, and we're inviting different gaming companies to come there. We have all my friends who are going to be there, and we're doing panels and stuff, and it's two days, and it's sold out. So I guess people wanted to go, and uh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that people would go to a thing called CoxCon and not <laughs> snicker at it. Oh, I just, I just did. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you've, it's okay. Now you've done you it. You wouldn't be the yeah. first. <laughs> all right. Well, Jesse, it sounds like you're a busy man. Thank you, thank you for talking with me, even though I can barely talk right now. No, it's okay. I know, I know you've got a lot of talking to do in your daily life, so yeah. I want to preserve that voice for you. Is there anyone you'd like to give shout-outs to or thanks to? And oh, man. What, uh, where can we find you and Stellar Lotus in the near future? Sure. Uh, you can find Stellar Lotus on twitch.tv slash team slash Stellar Lotus. Uh, that's all of them are on there. I'm on there if you want to watch me. I don't know why you would. Uh, and then youtube.com slash Jesse Cox. That's where my videos are. And big thank yous to everyone on Stellar Lotus, my entire team. Uh, massive thank you to everyone on Team Low Expectations. They basically carry me. And uh, massive thank you to everyone who just watches my crap that I put on on YouTube. Because without that, there wouldn't be a team. And there wouldn't be all this stuff. No one would care what I did or what I had to say. So thank you guys. You're amazing. And uh, thanks to this knucklehead for taking the time to talk with me. You can't see him behind the camera, but he's, he's cutie pie. I am super cute. He's cutie pie. Thank you for noticing. I tried really hard today, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, I noticed. Yeah, but uh, thanks a lot, Jesse, and I look forward to all the great stuff you've got coming down the road and like CoxCon. I man who's willing to lie. Yeah. Uh, I wish I could tell you I was going to CoxCon, but, you know, it's not... It's sold out? It's sold I out. Go. I can't even go, yeah. so... Just too successful. Maybe next year. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for next year. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you.